What's up? I'm Jackson Harris. I'm John Rua. And we're here to talk about my new music video, Dance with the Devil. The best mistakes are made after midnight. So I wrote the song with uh, these writers and producers called The Eleven, uh, super talented dudes based out of New York City. And I wanted to kind of capture a song that had the emotion of some of those really dark days, but with the light at the end of the tunnel. And you're sleeping in all your clothes tonight. I had met John uh, previously, he was in Hands on a Hard Body, mm -hmm. which was another amazing show on Broadway that was actually written by Trey Anastasio. Trey Anastasio from Fish, a big, great team of talented, genius folk. And there uh, I had met... Yeah, I met John there, and uh, it wasn't until probably almost a year later that I was told about this show called Hamilton mm -hmm. that I had to go see off-Broadway that was described to me as a three-hour musical about mm -hmm. Alexander Hamilton and Aaron Burr. And that's when I responded, I will not be going because that sounds <laughs> incredibly boring. Um, but I showed up, went to the show, and within the first few minutes, not only was I transfixed, but I saw this familiar face in the ensemble. Yeah. And the rest of the night, I just fell in love with the show, fell in love with John's work there. And after the show, we talked about working together. We were drunk in love, and now we're hung. I'd say that the concept kind of and derived from a lot of uh, different ideas, but we, we generally wanted to depict how can we display the, the trials and, uh, and complications of a day. Uh, and by a day, I mean everyone's journey is certainly different, but we wanted to have a distinction, so we used a relationship. And using movement really allow that because I mean, dance is pretty much the extension of when you can't, when, when your emotion exceeds words. I, I choreographed from a very theatrical and at the same time funk underground world. And so I said, this would be, I was immediately moved to, to want to move to it. And how can I translate the images I see in my mind physically in a way where people can hear the song in a, in a, in a way that they haven't heard it before and yet in the same way that Jackson intended it to be heard. You're selling yourself short a little bit by just saying dancing. And I think that's one thing I love because it wasn't so much I wanted a music video of two dancers doing something. It's more about movement. Seeing John work, you know, I, I've seen John work in Hands on a Hard Body and his other choreography videos he's done and obviously Hamilton, but Seeing him outside of that, getting to hang out, and seeing how the process works moving forward, having done original music videos and cover videos, I wanted to do something different and see it more as an art piece. And I just had a lot of fun being on the other side. It was scary, it was uncomfortable, but that's, that's how you grow. You put yourself in those situations, and, and I think it turned out great. But the most fun had to be when you know, when you realize that you were creating a video with great people. Yeah. Like, you know, when, when everything was off and, and you knew you were doing great work and you got a great tech, a great take, and you took those five minutes off and said, like, we're, look out, this is, it was a good time to see what we created together in that moment. Drinking wine from a coffee. Anything they feel. Um, the song itself is about one thing in, in my mind as far as how I wrote it, and that was my own personal experience with what I was going through with my life, my work, um, my love life, and dealing with the ex-girlfriend stuff, and uh, I, that's what the song is to me. The video is something else to me now. Now that's a, that's a whole nother piece. It almost reminds me to take a second, take a breath, take a moment, and realize where I am in my life and how much further I have to go and to value that time and that growth and not just be so scared. Of I want them to, their minds to open. It'll inspire them to do whatever they want to do for themselves. I say that because you're, we're putting out a video that anyone can go, oh, look, it's a music video. And yet you'll never find another artist at this moment right now hiring a, this type of choreographer and uniting our talents to create a piece of work that resonates like this. It's not out there. I mean, I know because I'm looking. So again, thank you guys for coming along for the ride. My name is Jackson Harris. I hope you enjoy my new music video, Dance with the Devil. We were drunk in love, and now we're home.